hail came through this area and there were a lot of cars here in the lot and they got damaged. Uh, a lot of them uh, suffered some hail damage. Uh, Joe Clements is here with me now and I guess uh, this is your son's truck, right? Yes, my son's truck and he's on a job in Pennsylvania. I called him last night because I saw the storm coming to Hallsville. I had no idea he was out of town. And he said, well, my truck's at the airport. So, oh Lord, I knew that was coming through here. And I called the airport manager this morning. He said they had some hail damage here. So I came down to see what kind of damage in his truck did get damaged. So I'm taking pictures of it and sending it to him. And so we can go from the insurance or like, well, let me do it. He can do it, whatever the case is. But uh, he it was a pretty significant significant damage out here and of course, yeah just walking around i can see a lot of dents in a lot of these vehicles and uh they probably weren't there yesterday I'm no thinking. they weren't yeah i'm sure that was the manager said this morning there was a lot of broken windshields uh I, this one here it, it's got a crack in it but you know i don't know if it was from that or whatever but he said it was severe damage over here i didn't ask him what size it was i live in Diana. we got about marble size up there but uh it, it's i'm looking at, at different vehicles out here and it's uh it's pretty it's pretty pretty bad yeah it's uh some took worse hits than others yes. uh, you can see some of the damage here yeah. to his truck See course, it on the hood right here for sure. It's always easier to see hail damage if you kind of move it. Yes, and then it's some on the side right here. Yeah. So it's like, it was coming from this direction, it looked like, because the other side didn't seem like it's as bad as this one. Right. Yeah, there's some uh, dents right here. And then yeah. this vehicle here. And that one really got bad. Yeah, you can really see the yeah. dents in that one. I'm surprised it didn't knock some of He's got a motor. This one does too. I'm surprised it didn't. Do some damage to these motors. I'm glad they didn't. That would have been a major. Oh, that would have been really bad. That would have really been bad. You got to do that. Not only that, it's replacing one of them. That's, a, that's big time money. Oh, sure. Sure. So, and uh, and then you, you said that the airport manager was, uh, they came out here with tarps just in that's case. That's what he said that they came out and if any was uh, had holes in the, in the windows or anything, that they would have covered them up. I, that's that's pretty good. That's going above your job there. And he said, well, that's our job. Well, I don't know that that's your job, but I appreciate what he did and I told him that. So he said that they came out and surveyed the damage last night, didn't see any that had holes in them, you know, for water to get in, and they would have done that. Kind of surprised me, but that's really good. It's nice air for that. Yeah. But yeah. I talked to him this morning. And uh, anyway, so we're just going to go from there. Yeah, I guess uh, that's all we can do. Time. Turn it on insurance. That's, go that's from right. There. All right. Well, uh, thanks again for your time, and uh, that's what happened out here at the airport. We'll have more later on KLTV 7 News and KLTV.